Airplanes have made the world incredibly small, connecting distant places with ease. However, if you look at a live global air traffic map and pan over Asia, you'll notice a massive area with little to no air traffic. This region is the Tibetan Plateau, a vast, high-altitude area that seems almost completely avoided by planes. Why is this? The Tibetan Plateau, known as the Roof of the World, has an average elevation of over 4,500 meters 14,800 feet, making it the highest and one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. Its harsh conditions and rugged terrain create numerous challenges for aviation. Historical Challenges The first major attempts to fly over this region were during World War II. The Allies needed to airlift supplies from British India to China, a route known as the Hump. Pilots faced extreme turbulence, wind speeds up to 200 miles per hour, freezing temperatures, unpredictable weather, and a lack of emergency landing sites. These dangers resulted in significant losses. Over 1,600 men and nearly 600 planes were lost in just 42 months. Modern Day Challenges Despite advancements in aviation, several key issues still make the Tibetan Plateau a risky area for flights. Emergency Landings In case of emergencies like cabin depressurization, planes need to descend to 10,000 feet where passengers can breathe without masks. This is impossible over the Tibetan Plateau, where the average elevation exceeds 14,000 feet, risking crashes into mountains. Sparse Population The region's low population density means there is little demand for flights. The entire Tibetan Plateau, which spans seven countries, is home to only about 14 million people. Turbulence The high winds and mountainous terrain cause severe turbulence, making flights uncomfortable and potentially dangerous. Jet Fuel Freezing at high altitudes over the plateau, temperatures can drop low enough to freeze jet fuel, a serious risk for long flights. Limited air traffic. There are two significant international airports on the Tibetan Plateau, Lhasa and Xining. These primarily handle domestic flights within China, with limited international routes. Most international flights between East Asia and the West take longer paths to avoid this region, prioritizing safety over shorter distances. The combination of high altitude, Harsh weather conditions, lack of emergency landing options, and low demand makes the Tibetan Plateau one of the least flown-over regions in the world. It's a stark reminder that despite our technological advances, some parts of our planet remain challenging and dangerous to traverse.